Hi, everybody. Hi. So it's Ed's birthday. Those of you following along know we went to Magic Kingdom earlier today and came back to the cabin to check out more of Fort Wilderness because we have a golf cart, hang out with the dogs, and then barbecue. Yep. Yeah. But our day has been pleasantly interrupted. By a nice thunderstorm it is actually really cool to be here at fort wilderness the pine trees are rustling outside the thunder and lightning keep cracking the rain's coming down it's just neat to have a thunderstorm here in the cabin yeah i'm hoping to get the barbecue lit yeah. in a little bit but perfect timing to just relax after a hot hot day at magic kingdom and hang out here in the cabin with the dogs in a thunderstorm it was hot Mm-hmm. how's your birthday been otherwise good i am tired Magic Kingdom days will do that to you, no matter how short of a trip. Mm -hmm. But it was fun to ride the boat over from here and yeah. come back. So, oh, the run, rain's coming down heavier again. Good. Let's, Let's go, go check listen. it out. Yeah. yeah. doing um making appetizers i light up the grill and the first thing you think of is s'mores they're healthy all right appetizers i'm so excited Ooh, it's still raining on me i'm cooking it it's good to have cooked food That's good. Forget burgers. This counts, right? Mm-hmm. It's a dinner sandwich? Yeah. Okay. We'll, go. we'll just pick more of these. I'm grilling in the rain, so I'm hiding under the overhang here. That way I don't get wet in between cooking the food. It's fun, though. All right, I have had to change. <laughs> you might hear the rain still on the roof. I yeah. just grilled your birthday dinner in a thunderstorm. You sure did. Let me uh, tell you how easy it is to grill on a charcoal grill in a downpour. Disney magic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But happy birthday, bon appetit. We have a nice meal set of what I was yeah. able to quickly make on the grill. We had more planned, but this is not a bad spread. Yeah, we, we have food, so... Mm -hmm. Yay. Let's eat. Are we doing a dining review? No, we're going to eat, and that's it. Oh, I wanted you to review my cooking. Uh, you can buy me another night, and we can do that one. Oh, fine. Enjoy. <laughs> Are you content over there on your birthday? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Did you enjoy your birthday dinner? Yes, I did. Oh, that's good. Maybe we'll even get to go out in our golf cart in a little bit. Well, I think the storms are finally going to stop. And the dogs are being fed right now. And maybe we will do that. Did you guys get birthday dinner for Daddy's birthday too? Yeah? Did you get birthday dinner? Go ahead, Splinter. Eat your dinner. Oh boy, you love dinner. Okay, we're a mess. The rain has finished, though, but we're going to leave. We're, we're hoping it finished. So we're yeah. going to jump in the golf cart and go around Fort Wilderness a little bit. But we're going to bring our camera phones instead of the more yeah. expensive camera, just <laughs> in case we get poured on again, because we don't have walls. Yeah. So if it rains, we'll just come back to the cabin, but we don't want to have equipment with us. So in order to leave our parking spot, we have to have masks on. Can I have my mask, please? Of course. And remember, they cover your mouth and nose. Oh, right. Would you like to demonstrate? 
I would love to. Here, so follow Ed's instructions. See, See? that's how you do it. And then you strap it. Oh, look and at look that. at that. Ed's ready to leave our parking yeah, spot. Yeah, you pinch it if you have the option. Hmm. All right. I'll put mine on and we're off. Well, the breeze feels good driving this. Because I definitely got sunburned today. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. not good. No, and I was wearing sunblock too. A lot of it. <laughs> yep, there multiple times. Yep. All right, where are we going? Settlement Coast? No Meadows, idea. Meadows, Meadows. All right. Here Perfect. We go. Here, turn this way, like the clouds over there. Mm. Ooh. But we're back at the settlement outpost and we're gonna go see, I think they're closed, but the new draft horse barn that they just built over here. We'll go check it out. I've seen the renderings and maybe we'll come back tomorrow if they're not open and see the horses. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go check it out. I think I may have found one of my new favorite resorts. Oh my gosh, it's so nice, so spread out. Even if it were crowded like it was the last time we were here, like this is gorgeously peaceful. Is this Bay Lake behind us technically on this side? Um, sure. Either which way, beautiful. Now I get it, Bay Lake Sunset. Oh. There it is. So nice. For those of you that have been to the DVC lounge at uh, oh. Bay Lake Tower, you get it. Yeah, I could go for that. Oh, technically we're on property, yes. N it's no, your birthday. I don't want to go inside. That's right. And we have to use elevators. Yeah. Some things will still have to wait. Yeah. But let's keep wandering around the resort in the evening. It is beautiful. It cooled off with the oh storm. I'm actually so chilly. Nice. So it, hang on. It is 75 degrees, which is 21 degrees less than last time mm -hmm. I saw or so. And yeah. for those of you that are out there and technologically advanced, please make some sort of meme or gif of Ed always checking his watch to give you the temperature because we're starting to realize it's a thing now. I like data. <laughs> we came over here to Tricircle D Ranch, the new draft horse barn. It is a beautiful new facility over it here. It is. Unfortunately, because of the rain, we didn't make it before they closed today, but they open again at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're going to come back over, check out the horses, whatever they have on exhibit here, and the calliope, which I believe they moved over here. I think so. That sounds right. I remember them doing a ceremony when no one was like in the resort area. Yeah. But we'll have to come back. But check out how beautiful it is. Those deer are actually local residents. That is not a pen right there. They're just hanging out, eating the grass in the open field. That is one of the coolest things about Fort Wilderness and Walt Disney World. You don't realize all of just the random wildlife that lives here, in addition to the animated wildlife. So right behind us is Pioneer Hall. Mm -hmm. This is where they do the hoop de doo review. Which I've never done. Me either. And Trails End Buffet, which we have done a couple of times. The reason we're bringing it up is not that we're going tonight, this is usually the hustling and bustling like city center yeah. of Fort Wilderness. Check it out at 8.30 tonight. <laughs> How oh. wild is that? Yeah, it's... Walt Disney World is very, very different right now. And even as a resort guest, like, it's such a different experience. Yeah. So strange. Yeah. Better. You like it better? Yeah. 
I like how quiet the resorts are, but I miss some spots like this one right here are just meant to be crowded. It's mm. interesting. Teach their own. It's better this way. Okay. That was quite the birthday day. Oh, well, first of all, it was a much better birthday than last year. because <laughs> That's true. You know. So if you didn't see the first part of our birthday day, or the in-between part where we headed out to Magic Kingdom, be sure to check that out as well. Grilling in the rain, getting soaked to it. It was How about fun. The good stuff? No, that was fun. Oh, okay. Being in the cabin here, getting poured out, it was actually a lot of fun. So if you're ever thinking about the cabins here at Fort Wilderness, if you don't mind being kind of secluded from services, not that there's not cabins right next to us, but as far as getting a bus to get to the resorts, it's a little bit cumbersome. Yeah, but... but if you want to come, get a golf cart, hang out. The golf cart lets you get everywhere to the boat and all that. Highly recommended, especially for a fun staycation. I'd do it again. Yeah, especially for someone like us who, yeah, like you said, is either on a staycation or if you're just someone who comes here a million times, and there's a lot of you who mm -hmm. come here many, many times a year, I would say it's worth definitely staying here. Yeah. Even for a few nights of your trip, because it really is like a separate vacation. It's a slower pace. You don't have to go to the parks, maybe, or... Maybe just Magic Kingdom because you just take the boat. The boat. If, yeah. if you have the golf cart here, it's you know, that's great to get back there. But highly recommend it. Yeah, I I really it moved up my list of towards the top. I loved mm -hmm. it, and I it doesn't it. jump itself off of the list of like, oh my goodness, we need to stay there. And I say it's a hidden secret because of that. It's, yeah, it, it's. I think it's just in a different class. I think that's the thing mm -hmm. too. You know, it's. You're not being waited on the same way you might at, you know, Grand Floridian or something, but it yep. really is nice. It's nice There's to get away. There's something that feels yeah. classic Disney magic about it, too. Yeah. So, from our cabin that we love here at Fort Wilderness, have a great night. Be sure to give this video a giant thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to be notified where our next destination will be. It's a secret. It's going to be Tricircle D Ranch for us tomorrow. Probably. And click the bell icon to be notified when we get there. Happy birthday. Thank you.